All right, this problem up here says given R, uh, QRST is an isosceles trapezoid and the measure of angle QTW is 36 degrees. So let's write that in, maybe QTW, that's this one, it's 36 degrees. And the measure of angle RST is 111 degrees. RST is 111. I'm gonna put it on the outside because there's two angles that make up that 111. It says find the remaining missing angles, okay? So there's a lot of a lot of angles left. Well, uh, by giving us this 111 over here, that's a big key. Since this is a trapezoid, we know that this angle, this 111, plus angle T down here, must add up to be 180. And so I know that 69 plus 111 would give me 180. So I can say all of measure T is 69 degrees. Okay? That's also helpful because if 69 is made up of this 36 and this angle, I can take 30, uh, 69 and subtract 36, which is 33 degrees. So I know right away that that's 33 degrees. The other thing this does for me is it tells me information about this side. Right? An isosceles trapezoid. Angle S and angle R, since those are base angles on this top base, those would be the same. So angle R is also 111 degrees. And down here, angle Q, the same as angle T, also 69 degrees. Similarly, the diagonals in an isosceles tra uh, trapezoid are, um, are congruent. So since those are congruent, I know this top piece, those are congruent to each other. And this bottom piece, those are congruent to each other. Well, what I just do there, this bottom um, part now is now an isosceles triangle. Okay, in this isosceles trapezoid, there's an isosceles triangle down below. So this is 36 degrees because of that. Um, I also know that since this is made up of 69, for the same reason over there, this is 33 degrees. I have another isosceles uh, triangle up here that I can use information to find out. This is parallel to the top and bottom. So this angle is an, is an alternate interior angle. If you remember your uh, information about parallel lines and a transversal, it's so alternate interior angle to this one, which is 36. And again, since this is an isosceles triangle now, this other side has to be 36. Now the temptation here is to say, hey, we're just marking down 36 is, this must be 33. No, that's not true. And the reason why is because down here, this was 36, and if I subtracted 69, or sorry, 36 from 69, that got 33. I have to do the same idea up here with 111. So 111 minus 36 is, 111 minus 36, is someone mess with this calculator? Reset. Yes. Uh, 111 minus 36. It's ready in 75. If I could have done it in my head, it is 75 degrees. Okay. So if that's 75 degrees, then over here on this side is also 75 degrees. Again, 75 plus 36 has to equal 111. Okay. A couple more angles to figure out. Those are the ones that are in the middle. Uh, let's look at maybe this triangle. I think of this as a triangle over here. I have 75 and I have 33. If I add those together, that's 108, all right? So if I take 180 minus 108, that should be 72. Okay, these are vertical angles, so this would also be 72 over here. And then you can do 180 minus 72, and that'll give you both of these, which is also 108. It's 108 and 108. And now, I think we have all the angles accounted for. We have our outside four, we have the two on the insides on each corner, and then our four in the middle. And that is all the missing angles in this isosceles trapezoid.